My name is Stacy Miles. I live in Akron, Ohio. And life was going along pretty well for me, or at least I thought. He was a very successful athlete. He did very, very well in pro sports. He actually seemed to have kind of everything going for him. Sports to me was always an outlet that made me feel like I was successful. I started off playing tennis and then there was football. And as I progressed you know, through high school and college, it, it became something that was always still enjoyable to me and became possible that I could go ahead and play at a higher level. You know, you run out on the field and have, you know, so many people go ahead and cheer you on, and, or depending on where you play, have so many people boo at you. you know. Life intervened. It threw me a couple of curveballs, first in the form of injuries that kept me out of any further sports activities, and then in the form of cancer. I, I had a lot of uh, ups and downs in my relationship with Jesus Christ spurred me on because materialistically things were doing well. I'd have an injury and I'd go, why me? Uh, then I'd go ahead and become successful in coaching. More injuries. What? Why now? Are you just picking on me now? What did I do? My life is like just this huge puzzle and I'm not sure how to put it together. But when the doctors start putting timelines on you now and the clock really is ticking and you do hear it ticking louder and louder all of a sudden you have this urgent need to find an answer to these questions but as i started on the search of my i always kept thinking to myself something's missing there's like a piece missing two pieces missing Stacy and I met in an unusual way. He needed crutches in order to continue to walk. And he had heard about our crutches that we manufacture. We just trade telephone calls every now and again. And, and here I am in Ohio, and here he is in Utah. And we had struck up an amazing friendship during the course of him solving my problem with crutches, of all things. It got to the point where if I needed just a pick-me-up, I'd call Stacy. <laughs> Gradually, our phone conversations would shift from how's the crutches working to, hey, how are you doing? How's your search going? And we would have hours of conversations just on religion. There would be a shift in his voice. And I'd hear this, this serenity, this peacefulness that would come over him. And I thought, that's what I'm looking for. I can't believe it. Why can't I find that? And for the first time in my life, I was actually envious of somebody else. And that bothered me more than anything. My relationship with Jesus Christ changed. Everything he did for me was to enrich my life. He didn't do anything to pick on me. I still haven't put it all together yet, but I feel like Heavenly Father's given me the directions, he's given me the picture of how it's supposed to look. He's told me, hey, listen, you can take as much time as you need. I'll, I'll be patient and wait for you to do this. I know that I can get this puzzle put together and that he's willing to help me every step of the way and, and make sure that even if I get one or two of the pieces mixed up, that I can go ahead and put that puzzle back together and have it look the way he wants it to look in the end. If it wasn't for the things that I'm going through, it never would have led me, you know, to where I am now. And that's been the best thing I could have ever asked for. We cannot predict all of the struggles and storms of life, not even the ones around the next corner. But as persons of faith and hope, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the gospel of Jesus Christ is true and the best is yet to come.